Today, I'm going to show you how to get this Google Nest Mini into Home Assistant, working with the cloud or without the cloud. This Google Mini is amazing for the price. You can get it for retail for about $50, or you can buy it from Facebook Market for as low as 10 bucks. Myself, which you want to set up really simple for a client, that way whenever the doors are open, it will announce it on this mini speaker right here. For instance, front door close, front door open, back door close, back door open. He's an older gentleman living by himself, so of course he'll want something that will make him feel secure. And this little mini speaker is perfect for that. To set up the mini speaker, we're going to be using Android phones or tablets. So on your phone or tablet, go ahead and download Google Home. I have no idea if this will work on iOS or not. Once you have Home installed, go ahead and open it up and tap on Add Device. Click on Google Nest. Go ahead and choose your home or add another home. In this case, I'm doing it for a client, so I'm going to create another home and then select that. Click on Next. Be sure to enable Bluetooth as well as GPS. Go ahead and click on Yes. It's going to connect directly to the device and you should hear a sound. Click on Yes. Click on I agree. Click on No thanks. Give it a location, it doesn't really matter. For now, we're just going to click on Basement. Click on Next. Select your Wi-Fi device and give it the password of the Wi-Fi access point. And now it's going to connect the Mini to your home network. Very nice. Click on Next. Click on Not Now. Click on No Thanks. And there we go, we are fully set up. Because this device right now is connected to the whole internet, you can of course do all of the Google things that you want to do. For instance, OK Google, what's the weather today? OK Google, how's the market? OK Google, play a song, for instance. Click on Finish Setup. If you click on Devices, you can see your speaker is now ready. Mine is named Basement. All right, now let's jump back to Home Assistant to finalize all of the settings with the Google Mini. In Home Assistant, go on over to Settings, and then click on Integrations. It might show up, it might not show up. If it doesn't show up, go ahead and give it five more minutes, and then you should see the uh, Discover, and HA should discover the Google Mini. It will be labeled as Google Cast. Click on Configure, click on Submit, give it an area if you want, and then click on Finish. Now that the Mini has been added in, go ahead and go to Google Cast, go to Devices, Basement speaker, by default, is in the off position. You can flip it to the on position if you want. Adjust the uh, speaker's volume up and down as needed. Next up, we're going to create an automation for this with the doors. So go ahead and click on Settings, Automation, Add a new automation. Here, you can already see that I created an automation. Whenever the front door is open, the Google Mini is going to announce something. So here we go. When front door is open, change from close to open. Go ahead and call the service. This is text-to-speech. This is actually connected to the cloud for now. The target will be the Google. The speaker entity will be the basement speaker. And the message will be front door is open. This whole UI is pretty confusing, so let's look at the uh, YAML code. Click on the three dots at the upper right-hand corner. Go down and edit in YAML. The code reflects what we saw earlier, which is when the door is turned to on, when it's open. Go ahead and call this up. This is the mini entity. One of the service is getting an alert on Telegram, but for now, it's turned to off, disabling it. The service that you saw earlier is the text-to-speech. This relies on Google Cloud, by the way. It will let the speaker announce front door is open. Now, what if you really like the mini, but you don't want any of the cloud nonsense? You don't want to deal with Google at all. Or if for whatever reason the internet is down, then this whole automation will not work. So of course you want something locally, and this is how. Go ahead and go into your Home Assistant, go into the Config folder, and go into the WW folder. Create another folder called Media. Inside this media, you can inside this media you can put all of your MP3 files if you want. For now, mine is just ding dong. You can always record your own voice, like front door is open.mp3 file. 
Once you have uploaded the mp3 files to that folder in your HA machine, go ahead and change the action. Here you can see that the action is media player .play media. The data, the media content ID will be the IP address of that HA machine and where the mp3 file is located. The media type is audio slash mpeg. The target will be that media player, which is the basement speaker. Alright, hopefully this video helps you on how to set up your Google Mini with Home Assistant. That works perfectly fine with the cloud. And of course, you can always set it up to work 100% locally as seen here. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.